but you have to know what you want to do and you have to believe in it before anyone else will believe in it. So sell it to yourself and there you are. Yeah. Very Marcia, you're just shaking your head. You're yeah, I mean, everything, you. everything she's saying is absolutely correct. You know, we, we, we as women, we, we are brought up to try and fit with the family, do all the things the family expects of us. And I gotta tell you, I am black, but I'm definitely the black sheep of my family. <laughs> Because uh, this is not the way we roll, you know. My family are basically politicians and um, school people and blah blah blah. And they kept saying to me, "What? When are you going to sort of stop the gallivanting around the world and become, you know, to get married and do the right thing?" Never. So the most important thing is you just got to follow what it is is your that is your passion. And I, I can't stress how important it is to stay around like-minded people. Yes. Amen. Yeah. I love you also. Have you got something to add to that, Matt? Like, like, like Matt. Me, I love me. You. Okay. Okay. So um, it, it was what Lisa said before about the dream and the vision. The motivation comes from when you wake up every day and can see and feel and touch and smell the vision. So it has to be something big enough to excite you to take daily action. And if, it, if at any time you feel demotivated or a little lack of willpower, then just stay focused on the vision. You know, as an athlete, our vision was to win an Olympic gold medal. Once every four years, we had to continue to focus on what it was going to take to win. Now, fortunately, Marsha wrote a song for the 2000 Olympics. And I have to say, I learned so much about focus from you guys when I went to the Olympic Village. I just saw a focus, I no focus, but then I found like another tier of focus that I used to in making. And, and we used Marsha's song, it was called Rise Up, and we would listen to it all the time about believing in your dreams. You have to believe, and it's kind of like I follow the philosophy of fake it till you make it, and you really have to fake the belief if it's not quite there until one day you wake up and you go, holy shit, I believe. I know, right? And it could take a week, a month, a year, and you just got to keep doing it. It's true. I faked my way into DJ. Yeah, right? That is the truth. I've actually never told many people this story. I didn't had no idea how to DJ. And I said, yeah, I can. That's, 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 that's how I actually said, Marcia, I DJed in Boston. It was an absolute flat out lie. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. But I faked it until I made it and I recorded every set on a cassette at the Oxford Hotel. I went home and I listened to that cassette. I listened to every... I didn't have an idea of beat from a snare from a Vidal Sassoon ad. I had no idea. I had no idea, but I faked it until I made it. Look at you, so, yeah, no. Now I got, I borrowed a jacket. I'm talking to all of you guys and you. It's so good. It's true. What are your secrets for motivation? It, it, maybe we all, you would do. It's like fake it till you make it. That day when you wake up and you're just like, I am just dog tired. I've been pushing this rock uphill. What do you do? Can I just say, if you had more testosterone, if you were a male, you fake it till you make it every day. Well, one of the things that women don't do, women think they have to be genuine every second they draw a breath. We do not let ourselves rest. We do not let ourselves slack off. I want to send a message out to all the women in this room. You're already good enough. You're already better than you think you are. We're already faking it till we make it. And just keep doing it. Because it's already enough. I mean, we work so hard. We work harder than we even give ourselves credit to because we were actually told to do that. That's how we're trained, to put more effort in. Um, but I want to say that um, I couldn't be here today without my, my female sisters, my actual biological sister, my work sister, Silka Bada, my, my sisters at Avalon Media. They have, they're the reason I'm on this stage tonight. The women around me have helped me. And one of the things I'd like to say to all the women here tonight, strengthen your female networks, make friends, value your female relationships, because they actually will help you get where you want to go. Find your people. That's my advice. Find your people. That's what Nat said, that's what Marsha said. Seek out your like-minded spirits. That's my secret to success. Thank you. Okay, now, this kind of, it's not really my last question, because I think we'll, um, um, 
go a bit further than this, but um, what, what's your next goal? Because I mean, we have motivation, the things that get us up in the morning. Goals, obviously, are important things in, in our lives. Yeah, goals are cool, but they, they're somewhat unrealistic because I live in the now. Okay. And so, um, so you don't set goals. Uh, it's not that I don't set goals, I have people around me who set goals. <laughs> and I just have to, you know, ah, the thanks to being Marsha. Yeah, so I, I mean, it's all good, you know, there's an amazing machine that makes Marsha Hines yeah. kick and do it. And I've got an album coming out, like I said, and I've got a single that's doing well. And so I just keep focusing and I just keep doing what needs to be done and I just wake up each day and say, okay, well, I'm a, I'm a, and I am a note, uh, a list writer. So every night I write a list of all the stuff I need to do, and, at the, and when the day is in, I cross it off and go, you go, girl, you did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Marcia, I asked you um, a while ago, you're just, you're just always so genuine, and you always take time for everybody. And I said to you, I'm just going to share this, because I asked you this. And um, I think one of the things that I love about you is your graciousness. And your, your beauty with everyone. You're just Thank always you. so genuine. Thank you. I, I'd just like to share what you said to me. You said it's because I actually genuinely am genuinely thankful. Yes, I am genuinely thankful. I am genuinely grateful, and I'm generally I was brought up very well. And um, those sort of things. And I had great people who did mentor me and say, Marcia, you know, you have to behave in this way, or you know, look, the life I'm living and the life I've lived is a blessed life. And um, I know that there's a bigger power than me. And, um, it's, and she's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and then, oh, oh, I love it. I'm going to come back to you before. We're going to finish on you and talk about your album because I don't think you're out of the, out of the, out of the spotlight yet. Now, um, how, where, are you, where are you going now? How far can you go? What's your next, what's your next mountain to climb? Well, as you can appreciate, five-time Olympian, I'm a bit of a goal-setting machine. Really? Uh, I know, that's what I mean. But... So, so, I believe in goal-setting. I believe that that's sort of a vision boarding exercise. You get a vision board, stick all the pictures up of what you want to do. But then I think we need a goal-getting board. Like, you've actually got to go get it, right? You can't just stick it up there and sit under a tree and wait for it to happen. You've got to go get so, it. So, what's on your vision board right now? Right now, it's like a snapshot into your like office. What's your vision board say? Okay, it's got a Jeep. It's a got Jeep. my Jeep. Yeah. But I went and got my Jeep. Okay, right? good. Then I've started a new foundation called the Live Out Loud Foundation to help kids express them. They've got to live out loud and express themselves if they want to express themselves. And we're doing that through this Nerf Life Saving Program. And it's just about having lots of holidays. I, I want to play golf and travel the world and go to the beach and surf waves and not have to work for someone. Like, who would do that? So, so there's the goal setting, there's the goal getting, and then there's a really important board that's number three that's called the goal giving. And it's about giving generously to charity and, and giving your time to people who need it. And so that's what I do now. I set, I get, and I give, and that's my life. Yeah. Where are you going? What's your next goal? The wine, the peanut wine. Don't do it! Don't do it! No, I'm a. <laughs> That's next, Lisa. I'm going to make my own wine. Um, no, no you I just get set up a little mentorship over there on the red couch. I'm, I'm, a, a, I'm, a, I'm a journalist, so we are ruled by monthly deadlines. So my next goal is my next deadline. I'm going to keep that silka. I'm going to keep that deadline. Um, we're in a crazy publishing revolution where we are changing the way we receive information, we're changing the way we read, and I've got to keep up with that. So that's my challenge, that's my goal, and I hope to meet that every day. Lisa, what's your next goal? Where, where, how high can you climb? Where are you going? Well, Kate, after tonight, I've been totally inspired to whip up a new wine for this time next year for Mardi Gras. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And Meryn has offered her services to assist me. I like it. That's a big job, you know, quite messy at the winery. But my inspiration is to make really great Pinot the Roxanne. Beautiful. Marsha, I'm going to have to just finish you. Your new album. 
Yes. Um, You've got some interesting co-writers. Yes, I, I, I wrote the album, and um, I wrote it with two other co production Yes, and I co-produced it as well, but um, I co-wrote it with two other men by the name of um, Tom Diesel and Ronnie Jones. And, um, Tom Diesel. Uh, and I've done a track with Russell, I've actually sung a track with Russell Crowe. <laughs> Yes, it's fantastic. He's, he's so funny. He's such an alpha. He, I find it intriguing. So um, that was great. And then writing an album, because I had a lot to say. I'm going to sing a song to you later on called, that I've written called Line in the Sand. And it's about, I ain't moving. This is who I am. This, you're going to have to take me the way I am or leave the building. You know what I'm saying? I like it. So, yeah. Oh. We'll, we'll get to listen to Marsha next time. Yeah. Are you going to go back and do some more hula hooping on the back? Am I going to do some more what? Hula hooping. Oh yeah, there's a hula hoop backstage and I was actually, I'm quite good at it. <laughs> yeah, so I should. Please put your hands together for our wonderful panelists, Marsha Hines, Matt Cook, Mary John. 